Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be overclocking the Xeon W3680 and trying to beat 2,000 points with it in Cinebench R20. Alright, so starting off with the Cinebench run at the stock speed of 3.3 GHz, it gets a score of 1,515. Now let's go into the BIOS and start overclocking. I'm going to start by trying to push the CPU to 5 GHz. The voltages are set to what is quote the max safe voltages on this motherboard, which I have found are also the highest voltages I can get it to without thermal throttling. Alright, now let's see if it'll post at 5 GHz. Alright, so the motherboard has posted. And it's loading windows. Okay, the top of the screen seems to be glitching out with the blue color and it's just rebooted. I'm going to go back into the BIOS now and decrease the clock speed down to 4.5 GHz. now 4.5 GHz at the same voltages. We obviously get a post and it goes straight into booting to Windows. Now a quick Cinebench run at 4.5 GHz. At 4.5 GHz, the Xeon W3680 gets a score of 2004. Alright, I just went into the BIOS and increased the clock speed to 4.6 GHz. As you can see, it keeps on making it about halfway to two thirds of the way through Cinebench and then crashing. After letting it run about 5 times, I gave up and reduced the clock speed by 50 MHz down to 4.55 GHz. This was stable enough to complete Cinebench and gave us an extra about 100 points over 4.5 GHz. We got a score of 2102. Alright, thank you for watching this video. We were able to get the Xeon W3680 up to 4.55 GHz and get 2102 in Cinebench. That's pretty impressive for a CPU that is now over 10 years old. Anyways, if you like this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.